Elizabeth Parker and welcome to Las Vegas, USA! And here are our contestants from all around the world! Exciting moment. We are ready to announce our top 20 final contestants. Let's hear it for. Oh, hold up the signs. Philippines! Hobbies include swimming, diving, mountain climbing with a good book. Next, hold them up, we have the Philippines. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I will tell you a story about our world. One day, I was conducting a storytelling session in Tondo, which is an area in the Philippines where the poorest of the poor live. So I asked the kids to fold their papers into half, and then inside it, I asked them to draw who they want to be when they grow up and where they want to go, like a dream destination. But out of the 10 kids sitting on the floor, only three of them knew what they wanted to be when they grow up, and only two of them knew where they wanted to go. These kids, they do not need us to win wars for them. They need us to build a world for them that will allow them to grow, to dream, to live. Let's build a world where children do not have to wake up to the sound of bullets and bombs, where women and children do not have to face a battle the moment they take one step out of the door. I stand here tonight, refusing to tell the same story to our next generation. Children do not need to, children do not need to risk their lives in war for us. They need to fight for their dreams, not their lives. So I ask all of you tonight, 
Let's all write a new book about our world and our common humanity. One that would finally give the next generation the happy ending they deserve. to announce our top five. I'm getting nervous and I'm not even competing, folks. <clears throat> I've learned my lesson. I don't even need to tell you to make some noise. Philippines. Who would you choose between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, and why? Let us hear from Philippines. Okay, you have to promise me that you would react after my first sentence. <laughs> I would choose Donald Trump to stop the war and violence with me because if we choose him to switch to our side, there won't be war and violence anymore. So I will also make sure that he will read my speeches to stop the war and violence because imagine someone who would bring so much madness and so much emotion from these people. What if we use his voice to actually do good for the world? What if we use that to our advantage? So that's why let's keep the peace and let Donald Trump switch to our side to stop the war and violence. moment for the entire evening. We will announce the final results. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you know what this means. There are only two contestants left. Indonesia and Philippines. We're at the final moment, the biggest moment of the entire evening. Here we go. Are you both breathing still? No, I can't. My lung is at half capacity. <laughs> All right, ladies, here we go. Are you ready? And Miss Grand International 2016 is Indonesia. Now this means if for any reason the new Miss Grand International cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will come forward and complete her role as Miss Grand National. Congratulations to Miss Indonesia.